31 degrees right here. Florida strawberry farmers like 26-year-old Matt Parks of Parksdale Farms in Dover, Florida, observe the new year not by watching the ball drop over Times Square, but by watching the temperature drop in their fields. The first two weeks of 2010 produced the longest string of below freezing temperatures in Florida that anyone can remember. Night after night, temperatures plunged into the 20s. Anytime the temperature goes below 28 degrees, the delicate plants die and farmers may be put out of business. For Parks, a fourth generation strawberry farmer in the area east of Tampa known as the winter strawberry capital of America, it was a constant sleepless battle to save the berries and plants on his family's 170 acre farm. Sometimes you fight fire with fire and sometimes you fight a hard freeze with ice. As soon as the temperature hit 34 degrees, Farmers fired up their generators and started their pumps. The sprinkling went on all night. Crews constantly patrol their fields using powerful spotlights to make sure all the sprinklers are working and the pumps are functioning. The process of covering strawberry plants with a protective layer of ice was developed by Park's grandfather Roy, who started strawberry farming in Florida shortly after emigrating from Northern Ireland in the 1950s. Up until then, Farmers covered their plants with straw and hoped for the best. Today, icing the berries is standard practice, but it doesn't always work. Two years ago, a main water line broke at Parksdale Farms, and in the three hours it took to repair the line, 22 acres were lost. The process is not without risk. Too much water can damage the plants. Watering creates another problem. In the past 20 years, this once sparsely populated rural area between Tampa and Lakeland has sprouted subdivisions. The demand for water has gone way up. When pumping goes on too long, shallow wells begin to go dry. Voids in the limestone under the rich soil sometimes give way, creating sinkholes, sometimes under homes and highways. Winter strawberry sales account for $375 million. That's about 40% of Hillsborough County's annual agricultural production. The farms also provide employment for thousands of seasonal workers. Finding ways to protect the strawberry farms and farmers, as well as protecting the non-agricultural interest in the area, is yet another challenge facing parks. He will face it, one cold, sleepless night at a time until fair weather returns. He's a farmer. It's what he does. It's who he and his family are.